When you're working on your design, it's extremely important to keep track of your layers and you can do that in your layers panel. So here we are clicked on the artboard and when I click right here, it will change from artboard to layers panel. So you can see the first layer and only layer is the text. But for example, when I include something to be my button, let's use something like, I don't know, 500 width 80, maybe something like that. We can include the corner radius of 20. We can change these colors. So for example, let's use this gray let's remove the border and let's duplicate this text so hit ctrl d and i will place it right here and for example use click here text and i will simply move it using my shift key and my arrows on the keyboard i can position it somewhere around here make sure it goes from the middle i can position it to be here I can use the white color and I will place it just right here above this rectangle. And here where it comes and the fun part, you can uh, change the names of all of these layers. So you can simply double click on this text and call this BTN short for button. And you can see the, uh, these markings right here. So T marking is for the text layer. This marking is for the shape layer. And basically any other tool you use is going to have different markings. So if I click right here, and hit escape you can see that a uh, pen tool is used to create this and it's basically shape layer but using the pen tool and this is the complete shape layer right here so basically default shape layer let me quickly delete this so i can click on it and delete it and you can move these layers up and down and you can position them wherever you want and you can select them by using control key you can use control g to create a group and i can re rename this group to button for example like so and now you have these two objects inside of the group and you can position that group using these commands right here so when i place them right here and i'm going to get rid of some of this text because i don't need all of it so for example let's use it up to here just imagine you have this paragraph you can hit ctrl d you can use something like this remove it using backspace hit ctrl a and use something bigger so for example 90 and maybe we can go from regular all the way down to heavy for example maybe we can even change this color to a bit of a darker color and what you can do is select all three and click right here to left align them and you can click right here and then use this option which is going to distribute them vertically so basically it's going to have exactly the same spacing between all three but i don't want that i just want this to be here this to be here and now I like this spacing because it's way less than it was before and now I can distribute them like so. I can select all of them, hit Control G to make another group so you can see we have group inside of the group and you can have as many groups as you want and I'm going to simply click right here to align it uh, to the center of my page and you can right click right here and you can ungroup uh, these groups and layers so that's basically it for the layers you can move them around you can lock them so they don't move so when i click right here and try to move it as you can see it shows me this lock and it's going to tell me basically that it cannot be moved unless i click right here to unlock it you can click right here to mark this for export later on and it's going to hover from this to this and show you that it's ready for export later on when it comes to time to export this for developers and finally what we have right here is the hide so when you quickly want to hide some elements you can click right here it's going to still be inside of your layers panel but it's going to be hidden from view so you can work on other things and then simply jump back you can see it's grayed out but when i click on it it's going to become visible and become more prominent right here inside of the layers panel what we can also do is we can search so as you can see we can search for images shapes and text and you can click and it will show you where they are inside of the artboard so just imagine you have this long landing page for a website and you have 50 different images and you just want to locate images for export you can use this shortcut so you can click images it's going to show you all images select them and you can export them like that if that's something that you want that's basically it for the layers panel in the next video i'm going to talk about the components and i'm going to explain uh, how you can use components in your work to increase the speed as well as how you can work smart using those components so i'll see you there